how to monitor your GPU's VRAM use. So it gives you a better idea of whatever AI tool you're using. Every now and then it'll pop up in one of my videos and people ask me in a comment, what is that? Where is that? Can you tell me where it is? And I forget that every time I show it, I have to either say, watch this other video where it is. I've shown you how to do it or I have to show you how to do it in this video. Ugh, I should have planned that out better. This is my look of disapproval. There's actually three ways that I use to check my VRAM use, depending on how closely I want to monitor it. The first one is with the task manager. You can press control shift escape on your keyboard and it comes up. And some people can't press control shift escape. You can, you can press windows button R on your keyboard, type T-A-S-K-M-G-R and press enter. And that does the same thing. Or if you're in command line, you can type it T-S-K-M-G-R. And then you go over to performance. And if your computer is pegged with a lot of tasks, it's gonna take forever to load this. Hey, this is future me here because I forgot to say something. You can also open it from the start menu. Just click down here on the start button, open up the start menu like that and just start typing. Don't worry about where to type it. Windows 10 doesn't have a search box, but Windows 11 does. Either way, you just start typing. Task manager. If it's highlighted like it is right there, in my case, it's barely highlighted, whatever. Just press enter. There you go. I got it running like that. I'm, I'm not playing my game right now. Why are you running? End task. What are you doing? You're not in the scene. Maybe you want to come hang out on Thursdays at 7.30 p.m.-ish Eastern or 4.30 p.m.-ish Pacific and just hang out and chat while I game. That's the thing I've been doing for a while on Thursdays. And then you scroll down the thing, the GPU, it's gonna look a little different and wind blows 11, which I refuse to use because it's got so many freaking problems. And you're looking down here, dedicated 10.1 out of 24 gigabytes. Well, this is not always accurate. You also gotta know what GPU you have. And for those of us who haven't mesmerized all the different parts that are inside of our PC, I'm gonna show you how to look up what GPU you have and then look up how much VRAM it has. Windows button R and type devmgmt.msc and press enter. And that gets you the device manager. Another way is to open the start menu and type device space manager. Make sure device manager is highlighted. You can kind of tell right there, press enter. And here you go. And you want to go to display adapters and press right arrow on your keyboard to expand it or just click it. I have an RTX 3090. So you can go to Google and type tech power up RTX 3090. I'll open that a new tab so I can show you something. My other PC is 3080 Ti. The one I'm gonna remote into in a second. Open that up and another one I have is a 3080. So 3090's got 24 gigs max of the VRAM. 3080 Ti has 12 gigs max on the VRAM. And a 3080 has 10 gigs max on the VRAM. So you see right here, memory total, and it's just about 24,000. I'm not gonna get into the math about it right now, but before I show you about this thing, the next most accurate one you can use is called Hardware Info 64. You just Google download HW Info 64, and go here. Someone reminded me in a comment that this web page works better if you're using an ad blocking browser. So if I go over to the installer version down here and hit free download and then click a server. Sometimes an ad will come up before the download comes up and you install it normal. You don't have to do anything special except when you launch it, choose start and leave sensors only checked. And this will take a while to load, especially if you've got other stuff running already. But for me, it only took about mm, seven seconds and I do have a stable diffusion running in automatic 11.11. And all of these will be collapsed. You'll have to scroll down and find the GPU that you found in Device Manager earlier. RTX 3090, EVGA, okay. That doesn't have what I want. What's it, What about this other RTX 3090 that's above it? Those are just different collections of sensors. It's not a different GPU. And I already have it showing a little number. What's it down here? So I'm gonna close that by hitting right click and then remove. And what you want to find in here is allocated GPU memory allocated. That means memory set aside. It doesn't necessarily mean it's using that much, but nothing else can use it. So we want that number. You right click it, hit add to tray, and you get this tiny little number. You can hover your mouse over to double check the, the amount. But you notice that says 10553. 
Over here, it says I'm using 10.313 under memory used. Do I see any 10.313 over here? No, I don't. I'm actually going to believe this one better because it's using utility that comes installed on your computer when you install the NVIDIA drivers. It's called NVIDIA-SMI. So I'm going to show you how to get that tool going on. You go to my GitHub repo that I'll have linked in the descriptables. Obviously, you know how the internet works. And you click Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 Tools. And you see that it's right there. It's these two files you need. But I've also got other stuff in here. Like this is an embedding inspector that you need for training embeddings. And this is FFmpeg Image Converter, which uses FFmpeg.exe to convert all the images in one folder at the same time to PNGs. I'll have a video linked in the card up here for you to watch later. But you just hit code. You can either download zip or clone it if you know how to do the clone. But I'm going to download zip in this case. I have all my web browsers set up to ask me where to download. So I can copy paste this folder over here. Copy. And then paste and then save. Now, if I double click that to see what's inside, there's a folder. And it's okay if it creates a folder for me. So I'm going to right click that and hit X because I have WinRAR installed and that's a hotkey. Oops, I forgot to do something. Shift delete. Whenever you download something that's a zip or a RAR or an archive and it's from a trusted source and you think that it might have multiple files in it to make something run, you want to right click that, hit properties, and then unblock and then OK. Otherwise, if when you extract it, every single file would be blocked and sometimes some of the script files can't talk to each other. Now I'm going to right click that and hit X. Now I can't just go immediately and use it right now because this GPU stats.bat doesn't know where GPU stats.h is to run it. What you do is you right click this and hit edit and there's two ways to get this path updated. But you notice how it's a double quote and then a single quote full path, single quote, and then double quote. My preferred way is go in the folder where the file is you want the path of. Go up here in the address bar, go to the end, and type a backslash, and then start typing the file name, GPU, and then when you see it, you hit down, down, control A to, to, for select all, and then control C to copy. Now I can go over here like this and paste it with control V and hit control S to save it. Some people like to hold shift and right click and then hit copy as path. The problem is, look at it, it's got quotes at the end. So if I put that in there, I would have to remember to erase that extra set of quotes so that it's double quote, single quote, path, single quote, double quote, control S. And then let's go over to the dot bat. Now you see I've got a total of 10 gigs of VRAM and almost six of it is being used just from having Automatic 11.11 open and GitHub. If I close GitHub, let's see how much it changes. 5872 versus 4194. So that's not much. But I've seen Chrome use tons of it. And that's why I use Firefox for all my AI stuff, because it's not a freaking resource hog. And now for this section that I call, shut up and take my money. If you want to support the channel and, and basically bribe me to make more videos in a morally justified way, this repo on GitHub as well in my description box, what's it below, has my Patreon and my buy me a coffee and, and whatevers. So you can send me some dollar dues. You know, besides the regular algorithm stuff you have to do like subscribe and click the bell and change the thing and then click like and then type a comment and beg YouTube to allow them to show my video to more people. Hey, if you've been using Automatic 1111 and you've been having lots of fun doing stuff with it, but you wanna see some tips and tricks, I've got a video right here. And when you're done watching that, I made a part two. And you can subscribe to the channel over here and you know, that's the Patreon button thingy. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye peoples.